got some water, some sugar, corn syrup, food coloring. We'll come back to that later and explain what's going on there. The elastic blade technology, that's what we're here to talk about. We get our inspiration from nature. We have an aloe plant here, so it depends on this flexibility of these leaves. And the key to the ATB technology is the twist. All right, so what I'm creating here is I'm creating a pendulum. And we're gonna turn on these fans that you see here in the background and show how a very subtle design change can create a big change in the forces experienced. So we need a panel to mount on this, on our blade over here. Give this a quick stir so that doesn't burn. Traditionally, blades are very straight. We're gonna take this panel, we're gonna mount it to take the full force of the wind. By mounting this directly in the center of the panel, this simulates a traditional wind turbine blade. If I take a mark of where that deflection sits with this red pen, that simulates where we are. All of that wind is hitting directly on this panel, which is mounted directly in the center. So all of that force is translating into a deflection here. So we're gonna pour the candy into the mold to show you exactly what an ATB blade looks like. If we hold our mold here. What I'm gonna do is set this down and, and let it cool. So what we're gonna do now, coming back to our experiment, we're gonna introduce a very slight design change. Instead of mounting this in the middle, we mount it to the side. This is the key behind the ATB technology. Let's see what this twist does for us in terms of the load. If we turn the fan on, what we can see now is now all the same force of the wind is hitting it. And as a result, the load, some of that load, some of the force of that wind hitting it is being shed off to the side. And as a result, we see a reduction in the angle that this pendulum swings at. That's a clear indication that we have achieved a loads reduction. So let's come back to our candy blade. It should be cool and hard by now. There we go. All right, it's ready to go. This is our ATB blade. It's a little difficult to see, but compared to a traditional blade, there's a little bit of curvature. That curvature is a design intent, allowing us when this thing gets loaded to twist and flex, just like our aloe plant. It's this curvature that gives us, just like we saw in our experiment, it allows the blade to twist when it gets loaded up. It's that load reduction that allows us larger rotors. Now what? <laughs>